Here's mainly what you'll see on the border. Mothers carrying kids to safety, fathers doing the same. Too many of them with bad info or acting on lies from cartels, coyotes, or sometimes just wishful thinking. But the reality is, while there are bad guys mixed in, the overwhelming majority are people who are desperate for a better life for them and their kids. The president doesn't get this, but Border Patrol does. These folks have done nothing other than cross the border illegally, and most of them are economic migrants. They're looking for a better way of life. So, truth, it's a crisis, but it's not the one the president sold you on, not marauding hordes of MS-13 and drug terrorists, mules. That's a gross exaggeration, matched only by the notion that the fix to the fiction is as simple as a fence. Now, I get why our president plays you like this. Scaring people and offering them a simple solution to what scares them sells. And this president knows xenophobia is contagious. That's why he uses it to demonize people who are not Americans and even those who are. Isn't that what pummeling Puerto Rico is all about? Look at the barrage of BS tweets. Puerto Rico has already been scheduled to receive more hurricane relief funding than any place in history. The polls, the polls are grossly incompetent, spend the money foolishly or corruptly and only take from USA. $91 billion to Puerto Rico, and now the Dems want to give them more, taking dollars away from our farmers and so many others. Disgraceful. Cannot continue to hurt our farmers and states with these massive payments. So little appreciation. Let's take it piece by piece. It's a U.S. territory. Calling it a place, he's otherizing it, right? That's what he's doing. That's what he does. For those who argue this is POTUS not being great with words, his team is running the same game. Listen. With all we've done in that country, they have had a systematic mismanagement of the goods and services we've sent to them. You've seen food just rotting in the ports. Uh, their governor has done a horrible job. He's trying to make political the, hay in a political year, right. and he's trying to find someone to uh, to take the blame off of him so for not just, having a good a grid and not having a good system in that country. These are at things. All. White House spokesman Hogan Gidley referred to Puerto Rico as that country twice. He says it was a slip of tongue. Puerto Rico has been part of the U.S. since the 1800s. Back to the president's tweets, $91 billion to Puerto Rico. And now the Dems want to give them more, taking dollars away from our farmers and so many others. Disgraceful, can't continue, hurt our farmers, massive payments, so little appreciated. Remember that part? I just want to keep the record straight. The $91 billion, it's not the whole story. Money for PR is not money stolen from farmers. $11 billion has been sent to Puerto Rico, not $91, 11 And $91 billion is the estimated cost of recovery over two decades. You see the difference? You see what he's spinning? And for comparison, what they spend on Katrina? 120 billion. You didn't have the same number of dead. I'm not saying it wasn't worth it. I'm saying he's twisting it. He's misleading you again. But one thing seems pretty direct from and about our president. He's not about compassion. Have you ever heard him reach out about the nearly 3,000 dead in Puerto Rico? If he does care, why does he deny the fact of the death there? Bitterly, to the point of absurdity. And then when the deaths become a matter of fact, a reality, what does he do? He ignored them. Lucky it was only 16. If it was death in Puerto Rico like Katrina, that would have been really horrible. So we did great. And when the death is worse than Katrina, he ignores it, just like he ignores these faces. All right, why do we show you the faces? Because you're not gonna sell fear on that kid's face, are you? The president expressing compassion, being about the kids and their families. Go look for it. Good luck, I'll bet you whatever you want. The real open question is why he doesn't do it. Now, one obvious reason is that caring about kids, like I said, doesn't sell fear, doesn't sell a wall, does it? He knows that acknowledging the reality gives him ownership of it. This system is failing and it's on his watch. It's epic and it's dangerous. Our president can blame the Democrats, he can blame Mexico, migrants, blame anybody he wants. Wall is all, that was his mantra, he ignored the cries for different rules and resources that those in charge are really worried about. They've been telling, telling him this for months. They told me that themselves. His administration heard them, continues to not come close to answering those cries. That's the truth. And here's the bigger truth. Just know what this is about. Harshness is strength for this president, but it's not the only kind, and it's certainly not the signature trait of our country. It has not and will not solve the problems in Puerto Rico, the border or beyond. Know that and then judge it any way you like.